So you guys all know doofus paid propagandist Charlie Kirk, who is a believer in the, the religion of Trumpism, and he is quite the doofus. As you guys all know, I've, I've pretty well documented how he's both a hypocrite, where he will uh, credit the Trump administration for doing things that the Obama administration also did. But when you go back and look at his tweets about what the Obama administration did, which were the exact same actions, he vilified him for them. So this guy's a hack. He's not one to be taken seriously in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but it is pretty crazy how stupid this guy is. It really is pretty remarkable, actually. So uh, here's a tweet that he sent out uh, just today, actually. Here's what he said. He said, Elizabeth Warren is running on eliminating student loan debt and cracking down on colleges. Which is odd, considering she was part of the problem. She made over $429,000 in one year at Harvard. If professors really believed in socialism, why don't they teach for free? So, so many things of this, right? So, when he says that Elizabeth Warren is for cracking down on colleges, I don't know what that means. I don't know what cracking down on colleges means. I have no clue whatsoever. Um, but then he says he brings up her Harvard salary. Now, Bernie Sanders' plan for free college, which I believe was co-sponsored by Elizabeth Warren, uh, does not make uh, private universities free. Harvard is a private university. It's not a public one. So, uh, you know, college at Harvard is not going to be free. So that's like a totally separate thing. Now, Warren's plan to cancel student loan debt that does, uh, I believe that does reach out to people who would be at Harvard. Um, but of course, that has nothing to do with her salary at Harvard or how that affects them in any way. I don't really understand that. Plus, once you wipe, you know, the student loan debt slate clean, and then you are to set up, you know, a free college system. Now, again, private universities want to be affected by that for obvious reasons. Um, but uh, I don't understand that. But also, uh, the most important point here is, what does he mean by, if professors really believed in socialism, why don't they teach for free? A, socialism is the workers owning the means of production. What is the purpose of socialism? The purpose of socialism is for the workers to essentially, uh, you know, kick off the owner class and basically uh, maximize their own profits. That's the purpose of socialism. So the idea, there's this seems to be this idea amongst conservatives that socialism is when workers make nothing. No, that's actually when workers want to, you know, like I said, kick off the uh, owner class. And instead, the laborers take control and they maximize their profits. And also, there's the obvious point of like, people aren't going to do labor for free. And they're also, you know, they need money for shit. Okay, like you need money to eat, you need money to pay for, you know, your home and stuff like that. So it's obviously very stupid. It doesn't make any sense. But that's Charlie Kirk logic for you there.